Mike, uh, it's Dr. Buford from here with Dr. Moore. We're just getting started on the left shoulder. We're looking in from the back to the front. Everything that you see is magnified a lot, like 30 or 40 times on the screen. And right off the bat, you can see we've got two cannulas coming in the front of the shoulder. We've got your biceps tendon off to the right side of this metal cannula. The tendon itself looks fine, but we were worried about this biceps anchor, and sure enough, we can see how it's detached. So we're going to work on that as well today. As we look down the front, we've already confirmed some of the injuries that we suspected. With uh, the damage to the front of the shoulder, we'll see that a little bit better in a minute. The humeral head isn't that damaged, which is good. You can see a little bit of scuffing or cartilage kind of erosion in the back half of the humeral head, but that's not too bad. We examined your shoulder before we started, and you had some significant instability both to the front and to the back, so we're expecting to have to do a fair amount of work front and back today. We're going to go ahead and start in the back. We'll go off on the video and get repositioned here. Okay, so here we are using a spinal needle. We're looking towards the back now. We're going to place a suture anchor into the glenoid right about here. We'll make a little nick in the skin. And this is basically what we call a percutaneous insertion, meaning we don't make a separate incision. there and that brings our drill guide right down where we want it here. There's the anterior glenoid and we can see where six o'clock is here. So we're gonna place our first anchor in right about here. And the next step is to go ahead and take a drill. straight down into the bone here. tug on the sutures to seat the anchor and that feels very solid. So next we'll go ahead and take out one of the uh, sutures here. I need a pincher tool. a little bit, see it has these sharp points on it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take the next instru instrument, which is a suture hook. This instrument is hollow on the inside. It's loaded with a black wire that we call a super shuttle. Here's the hook. That black wire is the super shuttle. And so we start here. We're going to go down into the capsule like that. be our first pass. We'll get this done and show you some more in just a minute. And now as we pull back, you can see how it brings that blue and white suture with it out through the yellow cannula there. And 
Now we're going to do a figure eight stitch, so we're going to pass that one more time. So we'll take our pincher tool. stitch. And next we'll take our crochet hook and gather the partner suture right here. There's the first one tied, that's in the back. And we've really tried to bunch that up quite a bit on purpose. We'll take our shaver here in the back next. Trying to breed a little bit and then we're gonna to get to work in the front of the shoulder. Here's our shaver coming down. seeing here is that the detachment isn't that large, but there's a lot of damage to the cartilage. We're going to go ahead and start to place some suture anchors down, just like we showed you before on the back side. Here's the first one. And then we'll go ahead and reach in from the back and take out one of the sutures here. Okay. And then we'll take our suture hook, our turn to the right. Turn to the left, rather. And, um, Some more in just a minute, pause please. Okay, we've placed a second anchor along the front, as you can see here. Pull that back a little bit. Okay, and next we're going to take our suture hook and make another pass through the capsule. So we'll go off on the video for a minute, pause please. So there's the front of the shoulder, that looks pretty good. 
we've got three suture anchors in, and we've really, really tried to reconstruct that anterior wall and tighten up the ligaments. We're gonna put the shaver in the back here, clean up a little bit, and then we're gonna put the camera in the back and fix that biceps anchor. So, okay, we're placing another anchor. This one's actually metal. And this is to repair the biceps anchor. And we're gonna go ahead and unload this. This one's a little bit larger than the other ones that we've been showing you. Large enough that we can get two sutures through the eyelet. We're gonna be tying the white suture first. So the strap's closer to it. So we're gonna take out the two stripe sutures and one of the white sutures here. Like this, then we'll take a switching stick. Take these three sutures on the left out of the way. And then we'll reach in and take the one suture that we're gonna use first, this white one here, and bring it so it's inside the cannula on the left, like that. And so now we're going to take this uh, suture hook and bring that through the cannula on the, on the right here. There it is coming underneath. We'll pass the uh, relay. Inside your shoulder will load that. Pull back. And that looks pretty good there. And now we're going to reach in and get the partner suture. The other white one that is. Right here. Okay, and so that's going to be our first knot. Now I'm going to take out one of the blue and white ones so we're not twisted. Take this out of the way. Pull back on the camera so you can see it from the way. Hold on, got those sutures organized and we're going to tie our first knot right here on the right side of the screen possibly. Here's our second pass with the uh, suture hook. We'll reach in here and grab the relay next. tie this knot, we ought to be finished. We've placed a total of uh, five suture anchors around the socket just to tighten things up for you. Hopefully this will do the trick. So we'll show you this last knot coming down and then we'll finish up here. There it is right there.
Okay, so we'll cut those suture tails next. Just like that. And now that looks very stable. You can see as we tug on it, the biceps tendon, that anchor now looks very stable. So I'm happy with the way that looks. We're gonna clean some more things up, but for the most part, I think we're done. So we'll go off on the video and get you back to the uh, recovery room in just a few minutes, okay? So good luck to you now. Bye-bye.